Hello guys, uh, I've made this tutorial specific about sharing files that are not Sode. So we leave the other one for the Sode files, for the Sode sceneries. And we're going to use this one, uh, this uh, tutorial for all the other uh, sharing of files. Now the first thing you need to know is something that you probably know by now, since uh, otherwise you wouldn't be here, is where to find the bunch of configuration files, which are the, in the forums and you look for this page, a bunch of configuration airports, and you'll see the this first page where I always place on the first page the most relevant thing or the most important publication and the last one uh, that there is, okay? Now here you find a link in Dropbox. If you press here, you're going to see what I have on this Dropbox folder right here, which are all my configurations. Now. In your case, you will probably find a button here that would say, probably no, you, for sure you will find a button here that says download. You can add it on your Dropbox if you have a, an account with Dropbox or can use, you can just download it and, and it will open a folder just like this, okay? Now that's the first thing. Now the second thing, and it's the very most important one, I think, is for you to understand what is an AFCAD file, okay? Now, I've opened this program that's an airport design editor. I talk about this on the pushback chapter. Now, the AFCAD file, it's a file that contains all the layout of your, of your scenery. You know, like where are the taxiways, where are the gates, uh, which direction is the plane supposed to be heading when it parks or when it loads the scenery, uh, you know, all the relevant information about the, this, the like the layout of the of the scenery itself now this is important to know because this is the file that gsx level one or two uses to relate to your computer and to put the objects on the right place okay now i've chosen london heathrow because it's the most complicated one probably in all the configurations in order to share the file and um, the reason for this is that hold on a second uh, where are you on the Heathrow the configuration there you go now this scenery by Simwings you can see that you have different options you know there's this happens for example in Schiphol by flying time by flight Tampa it also happens in Simwings in Madrid Lima Eco Mike Delta that you can have certain options you choose. For example, if you have an Europeer active, the Europeer is a building that's located on this part of the of the terminal of the scenery. Uh, that if you activate it, is going to create a whole different layout for your uh, AFCAD file. Okay, um, because planes won't be able to taxi through and around this taxi lane because it's a building in the middle, and also, having the European active or inactive, you can have also three other different options, okay? The, the one I usually use is without the European, and here are the runway configurations. This is something that's similar to Madrid and to Amsterdam, okay? You can have takeoff landing on both. You can have takeoff on north and landing on south, and takeoff south and landing on north, okay? Now, since you have with the European active these three possibilities and without the European active also these three possibilities, you can have at the end six different types of AFCAD files. Now, if you go to the London Heathrow scenery folder, and uh, this is what I want to show you about, you go to the scenery, okay, and whether you choose the European active and uh, let's say takeoff landing take off north landing on south and you save it you see that the london heathrow afcat file a alpha foxtrot x-ray is the afcat uh sim uh acronym or uh, synchronous or whatever you want to call it and standard means it's standard that means it's taking and land take off and landing on both and with a european inactive so you choose this option it will activate this AFCAD file. You see that the other op the other AFCAD files have been deactivated. They all have the word the off at the end. So if you have chosen that option and you you save save and exit, 
you will end up with that AFCAD file on it, okay? It hasn't changed anything. Now, if you change to a different uh, configuration, let's say you choose European Active and Landing on North, it would probably choose activate this one right here if I'm correct. See? So now this one is activated and the other ones have been deactivated. Now, it's very important that you know this because this is the AFCAD file that when you load your scenery, your simulator is going to use. So if you don't have this one identified properly, your GSX configuration is not going to work. Okay, so let me turn this back to the proper uh, configuration. Hold on one second. I always have problem finding this. There you go. Here it is. So we go back with this and this option and we save and we go back to the standard one. Okay, now this is the name of the ACA file that I have active for London Heathrow. Okay, now that's one thing that you're going to have to keep into mind. Okay, we'll go, we'll go back to this issue in a few moments. Now, you've already downloaded the files and you're going to find that you have all these folders in here. So you go to London Heathrow which is right here and as i say i had to create i had to create six different configurations okay for all the six pos uh, six possibilities that you have on your configuration of that scenery now this most of the sceneries don't have this option of having different runways activated but i just wanted to show you the most complicated one so you understand how to proceed okay now in my case is with without the european so i chose the wrong one without the european and take on take off and landing on both okay now gsx only works with three files okay it works with two files on the exclusion side which is this one and this one and then on the on the configuration file itself which is on the roaming folder it works with this file right here okay so if you open this one you're going to see all the general information regarding all the different jetways and all the specific agents of my configuration okay now here you're going to find something that is very important and that's why i started talking about the afcad file you see this afcad file is the same as this one right here it's the same name with the same extension here bravo golf lima okay if you have a different configuration let's say you had the the with an arrow with the arrow pier activated and taking off north you would have to make sure that you have this thing written in here okay and you need to change this and save it okay in my case you don't have to save anything because i've created one different gsx configuration for all the possibilities so you don't have to mess around with this thing but in other in other scenario in other situations that we're going to talk in a few minutes you if you have a problem loading of, uh, one of my configurations it's probably because you have the wrong uh, afcad file so go to your scenery folder look, look for the afcad file that you have and just replace it on my ini file okay and then save it we're not going to save it here because it's this one is perfectly fine so this is one of the things now you know which files we're sharing there's only three files and now you're going to uh, need to know how to import them now the first thing you need to know is where to place these files now there's one easy way to access to app data which is typing this word on the explorer okay and it will take you directly, it jumps directly to AppData Roaming. And within AppData Roaming, the folder that GSX uses is called Virtuali. Okay. And we are in Romi, and this is Virtuali. Okay. So you go back to, you leave it at Virtuali right there. And you open the content of Virtuali and you drop it right there. Okay. I'm not going to drop it because I already have mine. Okay. But in your case, just drop it there. Okay. And now, the exclusions which is right here you go to i have the gsx level 2 installed on my p4d directory which is where i have installed pepper uh, prepper 3d version 4 i call it p4d 
and the add-on manager is the like let's say it's the default name that gsx level 2 uses when installing the software some people change the name and they call it gsx2 or whatever but uh, just go to the folder where you have installed your gsx level 2 and within that folder you're going to find a folder called fs dream team which is the same as i have here so just pick up the exclusions and drop it right there now having done this to do to these two things you've already installed the configurations now it's important that you do this when your gsx when your simulator is being is turned off don't do it when it's running it won't hurt the simulator or anything but you might end up having uh, problems with two different configurations running on your computer and i'll explain myself um, let's just say that before importing my gsx level 2 configuration for heathrow you've already been doing some uh, trial and error things or doing some configuration on heathrow and uh, so therefore with the first time that um, here if we go to the app data roaming in my case is the here i go to gsx level 2 and here you're going to find all the configurations i've done for different sceneries let's assume that you've been doing some thing on your own and uh, you didn't like the way it ended up in your simulator or you just want to check if you have anything on heathrow as of today now let's just assume we didn't install my configuration and you did have one that you were working on you see this last digits right here those are a random number that gsx level 2 creates every time you create a configuration for a scenery for the first time now if you have already a configuration on that london heathrow echo golf lima lima it will open the one that is there no matter what these letters right here are okay it will just open the only one that you have you should only have one that's very important okay many of you end up having two because you didn't know about this okay so it or it will open i don't know which one it will open but it will open one of them one of the two and probably not the right one okay so this is the one that you've been messing around that you created you didn't like it so you remove it and you do all these folder things that i've told you about and you end up with my configuration in here okay so it is very important that you only have one configuration for echo golf lima lima okay now if you add the configuration file while the simulator if you do this process that we talked about dropping the folders while the simulator is running and you already had your file opened this one your own configuration of echo golf lima now if you add mine and you remove yours while the simulator is running you might end up the gsx might recreate a second one with the same acronym with the same suffix here so it won't work so that's why i recommend that you do this when the simulator is not running so you've found that you have yours here you've removed it and you've added mine okay this is the situation you will end up with only one echo golf lima lima on it now you'll see that the newer versions of uh, cartina files uh, will have this name on it and then we're going to end up having a v3 which is the version that we're going to release today okay that i'm going to release today now um i'm going to stop the recording now so you can so we meet again in the simulator and i'm going to tell you the last thing you need to know about importing a sharing uh, shared file which is you have to restart the uh, reload the airport cache okay so i'll see you in a minute now once you're in the simulator the first thing you have to do is it's very important that you don't customize the airport position I need you to go in here and restart the code and rebuild the airport cache. Now, this is what, what GSS is going to do is going to take the new GSX file that you've added to your folder, which is mine in this case, uh, and is going to make sure that he doesn't take yours again. Um, 
in in some cases, if uh, if he still has in your memory in the memory that uh, he's working with a different configuration, you mind that. See, that's something that I hate about this. Sometimes you have to restart the code several times. The code engine is something that it's well so so. Sometimes you even have to do it many many times. Okay. There you go. Now, now it's using my configuration, okay? And this is impossible that it fails, it always works. Now, talking about the AFCAT file, oh, okay. Talking about the AFCAT file, where another place that you can find the, the name of the AFCAT file that GSX is using, you can find it right here, you see? Here's the AFCAT file that GSX is relating to, okay? So if you ever have a doubt, make sure that this name has to be the same name as in the second line of my ini file, okay? Now, let's just say that I come up with a different version of London Heathrow like I'm going to do today. I'm going to release version three. Uh, so you'll probably end up, when you go to my um, folder of GSX sharing folder, and this would have a version three on it, okay? I'm not gonna change it now. And let's just say you want to update the existing ini file. You don't have to do the exclusions again because the exclusions are always going to be the same. And let's say you find here a Cartina version 3 and you want to replace with this one. Just exit the simulator, okay? This is very important because otherwise you'll end up with the same problem as I explained before. Once you've closed the simulator, oops, wait for it to close properly, and you copy this one here, now you see, you're gonna see that you end up with two London Heathrows. Just make sure you, re you remove mine, okay? So remove mine and just keep the new one. Oops, what have I done? Yeah, we created a shortcut, we don't want that. And we want to remove this one, okay? So this is about it. This is as, uh, as complicated as it gets. And I hope uh, you, have an, you don't have any questions with, uh, with this process because I don't think I can explain it any better. So I hope you, if you find it useful and uh, see you again. Ciao.